What is up you guys? It is me again. So I am coming back to you guys with another video. Um, will God judge the energy drink companies? You know, Monster, Bang, Rockstar, um, Full Throttle, um, NOS, um, let's see what else, uh, there is, oh, come on, there has to be, there's more energy drinks, I can't, um, C4, yes, that's a energy drink, um, you know, a lot of them are probably this, the same stupid company to begin with, anyways, uh, Monster probably owns, a Red Bull. I can't believe I forget the name of that. I must be getting sleepy. Um, Prime Energy. So yeah, um, you know these people are murderers. Uh, I, I I like to call them legal murderers because they're legally murdering people. What do I mean by that? You ask. Them making their products and knowing that they're killing people is, to me, and I believe to God also, is, in fact, not manslaughter, but murder. Because uh, they're doing it, and they, are no, they know it, but they don't care. All they're caring about is getting rich. Uh, maybe it was manslaughter at the beginning, but now it's just plain, simply out murder because you know maybe it was murder all along because manslaughter the definition of manslaughter is uh, k killing somebody without meaning to basically like an accident um and this isn't an accident i know they have warnings and everything on their their crap that says um you know, like it's like blah, blah, it's consumers at their own risk. It's like it's the decision of the consumer. They're not held responsible or anything like that. Blah blah blah. Um, but they're the ones who made the thing. You know, they're the, the ones who made the crap, the crappergy drinks, the crap energy drinks. Yeah, you know, just the other day I was so manic. Yesterday I was so manic because I drank. Two monster coffees, a latte one and um, something else. I I can't remember what it, but there's another coffee. Nit uh, no, not nitro. Well, I, I thought it had nitro on it. It said nitro or something. Um, but they had 200 mg of caffeine in each can. And I drank them in a row, and I ingested 400 mg of caffeine, and I was manic, I was jittery, I was a little anxious. Um, and that was not even at 11 in the morning yesterday morning. And I, I, was, I was jittery, manic, and anxious all up until at least like 10 o'clock at night yesterday, last night. Um, so yeah, I mean... I've only basically had like four energy drinks in like three months to begin with, I think. Or not, well, maybe two months. Um, a few bangs and these coffees, I think. Yeah, maybe maybe one or two more bangs. But yeah, I, I, I got I to, gotta, this is the thing, that, the one that I'm struggling with the most. Um, is cutting out caffeine. Satan is like, oh, Zach, just, <laughs> just get one. I mean, it sucks that you're able to use your EBT card, too, your food stamp card, to purchase energy drinks. They shouldn't let you do that. I, I mean, they shouldn't be selling monsters at Family Dollar anyways. That's where I got them the other day. Um, but, um... Satan is like, Zach, just drink one. Just just get some, drink them, 
nothing bad will happen or anything like that. It'll be fine. And then someday I do that and let it, it fall for his deceptions, and I'm in the hospital with a severed artery because it brings it screws with my mental health on a really big scale. Um, a lot of times, not recently, thank goodness, but. Um, and it could lead me down into a, a mental breakdown, and I could slice into an artery or something like that um, because of severe depression. And I know how deep the radial artery in my arm is. It's I read up on Google, and it says it's around three millimeters under the skin, directly uh, under the skin on the bottom of your wrist, right underneath your thumb. Where you can feel the pulse so it's right there but it would hurt like hell to um, to cut into it because I would need to cut through tendons and nerves and muscle I've cut me I cut into the sub subcania or the uh, sub sub subcutaneous Subcaneous, subcutaneous layer. First is your epidermis, then your second skin layer is your uh, dermis, and under that is your fat cells, which is the sub 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 something taneous or whatever, and directly under that, but not far down whatsoever, is your muscle and your artery lays within that. Um, so I, I really have to pull these energy drinks out of my life. I really need to work on self-control to stay away from them, um, stay in the word more, pray more, to stay strong and fight against the devil's deceptions. Um, cause you know, the devil wants me to kill myself. He hates me, and he wants to get rid of me. He wants he he tries so hard, but he's his power is he's only his power is limited because of the restrainer in the world. The Holy Spirit in the world is in fact restraining Satan's full power. Otherwise, he would kill us all. Um, yeah, the devil is, is no match for God. Sure, God is infinitely stronger, but. We're no match for the devil. If the devil's power wasn't being restrained whatsoever, he would crush us in a second. It would be as easy as knocking a flea out of this world. It would be a, a pen stroke, a keystroke for him to do. But during the seven year tribulation, the restrainer will be out of this world, along with all the true born again believers. Because uh, we're not appointed unto wrath. We will be the, if the rapture will happen before the seven year tribulation. I truly believe that. I have to believe that too. Um, but the Holy Spirit, the restrainer, will not be in the world. He won't be in the world anymore, the, the Holy Spirit, um, during the seven year tribulation. So um, all hell will break loose, like, seriously. Like seriously, literally, not metaphorically. You know, that's a metaphor people say, oh, it's, it's hell on earth, you know. Like, this life is hell. Come on, earth, blah, blah, blah. No. That's a metaphor, but it's not a metaphor when hell will literally be on earth during the seven year tribulation. Because hell actually will be opened up. And then locusts with scorpion tails and uh, uh, women's hair and lion's teeth and gold crown and breastplate of armor and um, wings and horse hoofs, legs, millions or yeah, millions and millions of them will be released from hell by Satan and they will sting the unsaved for they will sting everybody on the earth for five months and people will long to die 
and you know, people would be jumping off buildings like the Empire State Building and everything, but to try to kill themselves, but death will flee from them. They jump. Can you imagine jumping off the Empire State Building because you're, you're being stung by something so excruciating, but you you hit the bottom flat out and you just get right back up and like nothing happened, not a scrape or anything. That's what's going to happen because people are temporarily immortal because death will flee from them. They'll long to die, but they'll be able unable to. They'll blow their try to blow their heads off with a shotgun, jump into a meat grinder. I don't know. They 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 won't be able to die for five whole months. Um. So yeah, you guys, the people who make energy drinks will stand before God one day at the judgment seat of Christ, at the great white throne judgment, I mean, and they will answer before God. They are killing people and they know it. They knew it when they put all that crap in their energy drinks before the first person even got it. So they're, they are, they know that they're killing people. Same with cigarette companies and alcohol companies. They just don't care. They, they, they just, they're in it for the money. You know, a bunch of atheists don't even truly believe that what they're doing is, obviously they don't believe. They don't know, they don't, they don't truly understand what they're messing with, you know. There's a special place in hell for those people that do it all for the money. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy.